to the webinar four on chemical substitution, wherever you are. Thank you for joining this webinar. We have a very exciting program and we will start right away. First, I will introduce again the organizers of this uh, webinar series. They are the PAC for Speed personnel in the Thai office. Uh, and I will again say their first names. Ora Koch is the project manager and she's the manager of the PAC for Speed Thai office. And uh, Nichakon is a process engineer specialist in product related issues. Jakrapat is a process engineer. He's specialist in process related issues. Konkanuk is no longer with us or she is part-time with us. She was a program developer, software developer. She is living for UK for her studies. And Siripon is another software developer, um, helping with uh, a lot of the software plus organization of the webinar and the problem solutions. So these are the, uh, the people who have done all the organization with respect to the, the webinar series. As you have known already that in July, we did uh, webinars one, which was a series of three webinars and webinar two on property estimation, webinar one on uh, sustainable process design in 12 steps consisting of a three stage methodology. Then uh, in September, we will do the last two webinars, five and six. Five will be on general systematic chemical product design and webinar uh, five will be that. Webinar six will be systematic and rapid model development using computer aided modeling tools. These are on 9th and 16th September. And then in August, we already did webinar three, which was on refrigerant design selection verification. And today we are doing, let me close this. And today we are doing the chemical substitution, which is webinar four. Before I go into the details of today's session, let me just point out to you that uh, uh, we on from our website, uh, the PSC for Speed website, uh, it is possible we have put links through which uh, you can, if you are interested, get uh, download the presentation slides as PDF files, or and or uh, go to our YouTube channel for uh, viewing the recorded videos. If you click on the subscribe, that means if you have a, a YouTube sub, uh, registration or account, then if you subscribe, uh, click on subscribe, you go directly to the, uh, the PSC for Speed uh, channel, where you will see not only the webinar recorded videos, but many more things that can be quite useful for you. If you do not want to subscribe, you can also just scroll down after the subscribe text. Then you will see a table where it will guide you to download any specific file or view any specific recorded video. I think uh, for those uh, who are in the education business, you may find this very useful for uh, for your uh, teaching material. If you use any of these, please give us a citation. For those who are uh, researchers or industrial practitioners, you may find a lot of useful information here, which can help you to solve your problems. For those who are students, you may find a lot of ad additional information that can complement to the information you get from your courses and textbooks. So I hope this can serve for everybody. Also, other students, uh, co-workers, they're most welcome to go to the 
PSC for website and download the material or view the recorded material. Also, your comments would be very appreciated. So coming back to today's webinar, the objective of this workshop is to give the participants a view on various aspects related to chemical substitution. As chemicals have become indispensable for modern society, so has the possibility for exposure to harmful chemicals increased significantly. Some of the numerous chemicals that are used in industrial processes, commodity products, consumer products, and many more may have undesired environmental health and safety impacts. These chemicals need to be identified and substituted before they cause harm. Replacing harmful chemicals in products and or processes with acceptable, less harmful alternatives is the basis of green chemistry and inherently safer design of processes and the products that sustain modern society. The challenges and therefore the opportunities for the process systems engineering community is to develop state-of-the-art methods and tools um, that uh, may exist and hopefully this webinar will motivate more people to join this fight. Use of a systems approach will play an important role in what we are presenting today. Coming to today's uh, program, after my very brief short introduction, uh, Dr. Saida Sultana Razia, she is the first guest speaker. She will introduce the topic of chemical substitution. Then Dr. Michael Overcash from USA will talk about chemical substitution and analysis of broader environmental changes. Then I will give my views on process systems engineering approach to chemical substitution. And then Oracle Chanichakon will demonstrate the software and present uh, problem solutions for different options within ChemSub. In all the lectures, we will have question answer period after the lectures. So now I would like to invite Dr. Razia to give her lecture. She is a professor at the chemical engineering department of UET, which is Bangladesh University of uh, engineering and technology located in Dhaka. And also she is a member of the scientific advisory board of a very important organization. And the organization is called the Organization for the Prohibition of Chemical Weapons. So she knows quite a lot about harmful effects of chemicals. With this, I will stop sharing and I will ask invite uh, Dr. Razia to give her lecture. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. 